Hi, I'm Ulrich and I'm spending many hours every day in video conferences. In this guide, I will show you how you will truly look and sound great in video conferences to be more successful in your job. Before you optimize your video presence, it makes sense to check how your coworkers see you with your current equipment. If you are on Windows, just open the camera application. And if you are on Mac, then you just use the QuickTime player. And when you open the QuickTime player, you can say file new movie recording. And then you can select here the camera you are using and the microphone. And when you then click on record, then you are now making a recording with the built-in microphone of this MacBook Pro and the built-in camera. And probably you see that the, this image quality is not so good and also the, the microphone quality is not really sounding professional. Before I show you how you look great in video conferences, I will tell you how important your audio setup is. When you interact with others in video conferences, people may accept poor video. But when they don't understand what you're saying, then you have really a hard time being successful in your job. And the most important rule to sound great in video conferences is bring the microphone close to your mouth. And so if the microphone is placed far away from your mouse, like in laptops or in webcams, then they will pick up a lot of other sounds and room reverb in addition to your voice. And therefore, the easiest way to sound loud and clear are using inexpensive cable headsets like Apple EarPods or cheap USB headsets. Now you hear me through the Apple EarPods, they just cost around 10 bucks. And because that microphone is close to my mouth, I would say the sound quality is really acceptable. You might ask why use a cable headset and no Bluetooth headset. I'm now recording this with Apple AirPods and uh, you may hear that my voice sounds way thinner than normal. And this is because Bluetooth as a, as a technology is not transmitting the full frequency range of your voice. So when you use a, free, a Bluetooth headset, your voice will always sound thinner than normal. And this is not what you want. You want to have your full voice uh, being transmitted. And therefore, if you want to sound professional, avoid wireless technologies like Bluetooth. If you are spending many hours per day in video conferences, wearing a headset like this all day will, be quite, be, will become quite uncomfortable. I recommend investing in an external microphone, which will bring your voice to the next level. There are hundreds of USB microphones on the market and you spend, can spend lots of time finding the best microphone for you. My recommendation, avoid popular condenser microphones like the Blue Yeti or this is the Blue Yeti Nano. Now you hear me through the Yeti Nano and I really like how this microphone sounds, but there's one catch. Condenser microphones are just extremely sensitive and they pick up not only my voice, but also lots of other sounds which are around me and which are, which are in this house. So if my kids are playing in the house, the microphone will pick it up or when I type something on the keyboard, this is just extremely loud. Instead, I can truly recommend a dynamic microphone like the Shure MV7, which just picks up what is in front of it, which should be your mouth. And um, the Shure MV7 has also built in my in processor, which ensures that you always sound perfect. And this is the microphone I'm using in this video. And during my daily work, work it's mounted on a microphone arm just in front of me. And I'm using it now since more than one year and no one ever said, can you please repeat or please mute yourself. So if you want to truly sound professional in video conferences, just pick the Shure MV7. If the price tag on the Shure MV7 is a bit too heavy for you, I can also recommend another type of microphones. And this is the Rode VideoMic Go 2. And this is a microphone which you normally mount on top of camera. I now connected the Rode VideoMic Go 2 to the computer and you hear that also the sound quality here is truly great. 
And also this shotgun microphone is very directional. So it just picks up what is in front of the microphone, which is my mouth and not what is around it. And also I can truly recommend this kind of microphone. Now that you have a great USB microphone, you just need to ensure that you are able to hear your audience clearly. You could use the speakers which are built in, in, in headset, but this will limit you throughout the day. And what really works great is using studio monitors. And I use the PreSonus Iris 3.5 studio speakers, which cost around $100 or euros. And studio monitors are really great for this purpose because they output, they, 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 they give the output exactly as it is. And what will happen if you would use normal computer speakers or multimedia speakers is the following. You will have two issues because first issue, you will have a harder time understanding your audience because these speakers they are great to, to play back music, but they will overemphasize lower frequencies, which is bad to listening to, to human voices. And the other really serious issue is that the probability is high that you will be causing an echo because most video conferencing software like Microsoft Teams and Zoom have a clever echo cancellation mechanism. So they will detect the output of the speaker which comes into the microphone. But this only works if the output of the speaker, speaker is as natural as it could be. If the output is not uh, is altered too much, then the, the software can't detect it and you will be causing an echo. And this is not what you want. So my recommendation is use proper studio monitors and then you can also raise their volume up to maximum and you will not be causing an echo and will understand your audience clearly. Now that you sound great in video conferences, you also want to look great. And in this section, I will show you how. And the most important trick to look professional in video conferences is to look as natural as possible. So your audience should see you exactly as if, you, if they would meet you in person. And before we talk about technical stuff like cameras, the most important thing in looking great in video conferences is lightning. So you can have the best camera on the market. If your lightning is not right, then you will just look terrible. The worst thing you could do is having a window in your back. The light from the sun is always so bright that um, it is nearly impossible for a camera to generate a good looking image. So if you have a window in your back, full stop, reposition your desk. What works well is having a window either in front of you or to your side. In my case, the window is on this side and it illuminates this, this part of my face. And because nearly always you, you do not have equally illumination of your face, it makes sense to light up the dark side of your face with a dimmable LED panel like this one. And I use panel, a panel from Nua, which serves me quite well. Now I've enabled um, that LED panel I have over here and you see that now my face has been lightened on that side from the window with natural loud light and from the LED panel. And you see that there are still shadows on my face. So what is extremely important is the following. It's not the goal to eliminate all the shadows in your face because this will look unnatural. And therefore it is also important to be able to control the intensity of your light because if the light is too bright like this one, you will just uh, look look white and there, there will be no shadows anymore in your face. And this is not how people look in reality. So don't do that. Don't uh, over, over lighten your face. I also have two additional light sources which I, um, I'm using. So I have one light which illuminates the room and I have another light from the back, but they are purely optional. 
When you have two light sources, like in my case, the window from this side and the LED panel from this side, you're pretty close to professional three-point lightning. And this is what filmmakers use. Um, and it has it is proven that this lets you let you look as natural as possible on the screen. So if you want to lo look professional in video conferences, use three-point lightning. The next very important aspect is the right, the correct positioning of your camera. So you should position your camera at the eye level or slightly above. This lets your audience see you in this very same way as if you were sitting on one table and it easily enables you to search eye contact to your audience just by looking straight forward in the camera. If you position your camera in a low position, for instance, if you're placing your camera on your desk, then you will look like a giant and your audience feels very small. And for your viewers, this is the point of view when a child looks up to their parents or to teachers. And this is not what you want, especially if you are a bit higher in the hierarchy of in your company. This is not how people should look up to you. So. Do not place your camera in this low position. Your audience should be able to meet you at eye level. If you position your camera in a position which is too high, then you have kind of the same effect, just the opposite. Your audience will look from above down to you and you will look like a child. And this is also not what you want. Now, you may ask, okay, I have a screen which is so large and I can't bring the camera down. And there is an easy solution to that. Just buy an inexpensive monitor arm and bring your monitor down and then you can place your camera at eye level. Now that you know how to lighten up yourself and how to position your camera, the tricky question is, what is the best camera to look great on video conferences? First of all, forget about the built-in webcam of your laptop. The image quality of nearly all built-in webcams is so bad that you will never look great in video conferences with the built-in webcam. Another good news for you is you don't need a 4K camera. No video conferencing software is using 4K and probably won't also won't be in the future because the bandwidth and processing requirements for 4K are extremely high and it is not necessary. This video is intentionally not recorded in 4K but just in Full HD. So you need Full HD and that's it. I now connected a webcam to this computer Logitech C930E. Everything else is the same, so same lightning, same location. And you see that this webcam has a wide field of view. So what that means is that I just take a small portion of that image and the camera also records lot, lots of room which is around me. And this is helpful if you are in a meeting room with many people and this camera is able to basically pick up the whole, the whole room. But for a single person camera, this is not so good because I'm already just taking a very, smart, uh, very small portion of the screen. And if a few people join a video conference, then each individual image gets small. And so then it will be extremely hard for everyone to see me. And this is not what you want. Now, and then sometimes people say, okay, you can zoom into um, a wide image, but then this will greatly decrease image quality. And so my recommendation is choose a camera with a narrow field of view of less than 80 degrees and then you will be taken um, a large amount of, of, of that image and people will be able to see you. I now connected a very popular webcam to this computer, a Logitech C270. And you see that this webcam has a more narrow field of view of just 60 degrees. So I'm taking a larger portion of the screen, which is good. And 
But if you look on the image quality, well, the image quality is better than w the built-in uh, camera of this MacBook Pro. And you have the ability to place the camera on eye level, which is great. Still, well, I wouldn't say that the image quality is great. And so therefore, if you go for a webcam, um, my recommendation is or the multiple webcams and test yourself whether the webcam is really giving you a good image quality because this webcam has more around 20,000 Amazon reviews with an average rating of 4.4. So I think everyone likes their webcam. To get really the best video quality in video conferences, use a DSLR or mirrorless camera. The image you are currently seeing is being recorded with the Sony Alpha 6000 mirrorless camera with a portrait lens. And this is also, I'm, I'm using this camera to join video conferences and this is how my audience is seeing me in video conferences. And um, the only thing, if you already have such a camera, which you need in addition is an external power supply and an HDMI capture stick like this one. And I started with this cheap one and then I upgraded to an Elgato Cam Link. And these kind of cameras, they do have a very large sensor and tons of options to optimize the video stream. So if the, your online presence is truly important for you, then pick a mirrorless camera like the Sony Alpha 6000. There is also another interesting option available to boost your video quality. What is the most advanced camera you currently have at hand? It is the built-in camera of your mobile phone. And I now connected an iPhone 13 Pro as a webcam to this computer. And you see that this image and the video stream is looking truly great and it's pretty close to that of the professional mirrorless camera. And to be able to do that, you could either use third-party software or if you are lucky and have a MacBook and an iPhone, you get this functionality out of the box. And although there are disadvantages, like you can't use your iPhone to, to send text messages during meetings, you get a great looking video stream for free. To summarize, you will look and sound great in video conferences if you bring the microphone close to your mouth, lighten up yourself with three-point lightning and use a decent camera like a DSLR mirrorless camera or also the camera in your mobile phone. In the description of this video you will find links to the gear I own and can truly recommend and um, if you find this video helpful just give it a like. And do you have other tips and tricks to share how to improve um, your presence in video conferences, just share it with us, with us in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching.